Hello everyone, welcome to Educel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the unpaid SCI or Scopus Index journals for uh, computer science as well as computer networks. The publications, uh, when we are discussing it, hardly took four to seven months, but within six months, everything will be sorted out. But uh, let us check with the proper verifications whether it is there or not. Let us start with the journals. I kept three journals to get the proof of it. Let us start with the ETRI journal. Okay, so ETRI journal uh, will start with the overview where we'll know about the aim and scope of the journal, whether it follows our terms and conditions. Here you can check the multimedia technology and the communication networks, basically wireless communications and mobile computing, those who are working, they can follow this ETRI journal. Then we should go to the journal matrices. Whether it is SCI or not, that part uh, we will clarify. Here for the site score, which we already discussed, the Scopus, it took four uh, site score. Next, about the Clarivit, which is uh, the uh, citation JCI, basically we can say for it, general citation indicator, is 0 0.36. Another is impact factor, which is important to uh, know whether it is SCI. If SCI, then what's the impact factor of it? The impact factor earlier was 1.5 around so it is right now is uh, 2023 they uh, decreased to 1.3 1.3 impact factor with the side score is 4 okay and the acceptance rate if you can see is 31 percent and the submission to first decision is 49 days whether it is there or not we will be verifying as well as submission to acceptance when you have submitted and when you are getting acceptance almost 137 days it took as for the data which is an average you can say but acceptance ratio if they are keeping in mind as 31 uh, percent definitely they are doing it but sometimes we got reject uh, rejections because of some issues that part also we will discuss for ETRA journal you should keep in mind you should have to have their own uh, you know format while you are submitting the template you have to follow always you keep in mind the ETRI its own uh, template you can search here in the author's guidelines you will get it once you will be having the author template uh, means for this journal template definitely your paper will be for the step they can uh, you know they can promote it to for the next step otherwise they can stop it there so that's why you keep in mind always whenever you are submitting an ETRI, so your paper should follow the template of ETRI journal. Net are uh, the proof. Okay. So here I kept a title for you. You can search it on the internet. You will get it from the ETRI. When I submitted is 15th of August. I have submitted and I got the decision on November. So within three months I got the decision. As they said, it's uh, 137. Uh, one, basically 49 days they said around two months or three months you can get uh, the you know a decision after getting decision I took uh, hardly one month to get submitted uh, the revision then uh, with the decision which is acceptance decision you you can say the accepted is 18th of January uh, January 2024 I got the acceptance so the total duration it took is around uh, five months and here if you can say is uh, I have actually taken one month to give their uh, uh, you know review comments which is uh, taking around one month from my side so that's why if I am just taking 15 days for it so I could say it is a uh, four months the acceptance will be provided to you and related to the percentage of acceptance ratio which we decided as which we discussed as 31% uh, decided by the you know by the ETRA journal team they said it is 31% but I must sure assure you that uh, it is below 20% which they want the journal the article strength should be well enough how to improve your article strength you should keep in mind there are four points you can write it down first is when you are writing the abstract you should keep on uh, you know a result some result at least one two lines you should include Next is in the introduction session, you should have to write the major contribution of your journal paper. This is the second point which is important. Next is, third one is, 
your uh, literature review or related work section when you are writing that time you should keep in mind the articles which you have read or might be cited by referring it that time you have to mention what are the lacunae that you found out of these papers might be seven papers eight papers which you have uh, read for your related article that you have to keep in mind you have to at least have a section or might be a paragraph okay that paragraph which is mentioning about the lacunae of those articles which is already published okay if you keep related to etri journals it's good enough to get published or might be if you're uh, planning for any journal any kind of journal if you keep at least one or two papers from their journal editor will be very happy uh, about uh, the decision okay next thing is the last one is about the conclusion no doubt the methodology every sort of detail should be better as well as the res result representation could be better way you should keep in mind next thing is uh, though it is free of uh, like you know freely available my journal uh, my article is freely available in etri you can check that one free access so that part i'll show you like uh, you know the content also i'll show you like where we are keeping our uh, details the last one which we are discussing is about the conclusion one the conclusion will have to conclude what you have already informed like uh, suppose in major contribution you said that uh, it has to be con uh, you know uh, given as an result or meant whatever the co contributions of the paper you have mentioned earlier that has to be completed in the uh, conclusion section then only four if the four uh, major points which i said if it is well written definitely a paper will be thrown at any uh, in ieee also or any kind of journal which you thought is the toughest one because uh, we know methodology is important methodology i'm just not talking about this one if your methodology is good you like in general uh, the scholars basically they are facing issues while submitting or while getting the acceptance from a journal because they know the methodology is good every sort of details what they have written within the journal paper is good but the main factor they are not getting how the paper is not getting accepted actually i found from my own experience i am telling you the four points which i told you if you keep in mind the four points while writing the research paper or article that time definitely it will be thrown okay and uh, related to the uh, communications until you know starting submissions to getting decision it took hardly 4 to 6 months sometimes it is linger up to one month extra you can expect that one also but uh, in general if your paper is good enough it will be accepted within 3 months also I have already given in the previous uh, video where we discussed like how to get within three to four months that you can check here such journals is good journal but it took time so it is a wheelie journal okay it took time about uh, four five months maximum to get the acceptance next wheelie journal which we are going to discuss is about IJCS most of the uh, people are working with the IJCS which is international journal of uh, communication systems let us start with the overview of it like uh, the m and scope basically we will be discussing now the voip and tcpip routing those who are working with the communication they can work uh, they can submit their work here broadband multimedia system basically this is a networking uh, type of journal who are working in the communications 5g whatever the uh, generations next generation working suppose you're, you're doing so much next generation uh, network communications you can uh, submit it here also now coming to the matrices here the site score is good which is 5.9 in 2023 it improved uh, next is related to the journal uh, impact factor it re decreased earlier it was 2.1 so right now it is 1.7 and uh, JCI is journal citation indicator is 0 0.48 so like this uh, the full text views you can check uh, the number of views was this one uh, related to the acceptance rate now we are going to discuss is 10 percent and the first decision is four days uh, it is an average case it is not always four days they are providing and some journals in the next video we will be discussing like uh, whether we'll get within two days or three days of the decision of that part we'll discuss but 
this video is dedicated with the proof why because from my experience i am telling you whether this journal is good for you or not okay next is submission to acceptance when you have submitted and you are you are getting acceptance it took around 209 days it is just an average case they said okay the team they said and related to 10 percent also you can check i told you the four points you keep in mind now we will discuss about the submission i have submitted the journal the title is here announcement of this title i have kept here and i have submitted on uh, 27 september 2023 okay and the acceptance if you want to check is 7th of march the september to march is around uh, six months it took okay to uh, get accepted but uh, within that uh, i uh, you can say i have taken time to give the review results so but you can expect if you're first enough to write the review so it took hard it, it can take hardly uh, five months for you to get acceptance but for me it took six months because of my revisions was quite quite twice uh, you can say quite tough that time so that was uh, taking uh, a lot of time for me to you know compile that one and uh, next coming to the another journal which is Lenda's concurrency and computation practice and experiences which is a part of Willio again uh, here now coming to the M and scope we'll be finding as a kind of uh, computer science journal it is not purely a network journal it is combination of network as well as other uh, next generation kind of communications as well as next generation computing they have kept like one is parallel distributed computing they kept high performance computing computational data science uh, you can say quantum computing also they kept as well as uh, cloud age computing basically computational type of work they are going to publish okay and uh, uh, one thing uh, we are going to check is about the indexing indexing their uh, sci scopus which are important dblp web of science there other uh, other indexing uh, it keeps next coming to the matrices here the site score is good which is 5 and uh, the jci journal site uh, citations indicator is uh, 0.51 next impact factor earlier it was uh, 1.7 or 2.1 uh, so right now it is decreased to 1.5 and the full text views for 2023 uh, they have kept here and related to the acceptance ratio is 9% as well as the decision is 2 days uh, like first decision is 2 days and 219 days from the submission to the acceptance in general we said the first decision first decision you can say is uh, suppose you have submitted and you got the acceptance or rejections or might be uh, reviews so that is considered as a first decision okay sometimes we said like uh, we got a decision within uh, the day we said it is first day no it is not like that suppose you have submitted and your status changed how many days it took to change your status but if it is rejected means it will given back to you or might be uh, if it is uh, going through for revision the status got changed so that first decision is about uh, as per their data they said it is two days but we will decide uh, we will discuss also whether it took two days or not from my experience i am telling you sometimes it is delayed suppose uh, the journal uh, members are limited no doubt the reviewers are limited the editors are limited but the papers are all limited in that case they have to manage it so for that reason it took time okay so i'm just telling you i have submitted on uh, this journal name i have kept it here okay you can search to verify it next is uh, submission i have submitted on november 14th uh, but the acceptance we got is uh, july 22nd july so which is november to july is around seven months again i'm telling you seven months because of uh, that i have taken one to two months to give them a review basically the completion of the review which i have uh, got from the uh, which i have uh, got from the editors basically the reviewers at uh, that time uh, it was hectic for me to submit within defined time so that's why it took seven months but in general if you're first enough so it took hardly it, it can take hardly uh, 
uh, four to five months or maximum six months you will get acceptance in my case it took seven months to get acceptance but the four points you should keep in mind now coming to the proof of these journals so here i must tell you the concurrency control and uh, the journals which we are going to discuss is this is uh, the re uh, received one and revised and acceptance they have written it but uh, here it is freely available uh, sorry the concurrency is uh, subscription based so that's why we cannot showcase the whole data here but i am telling you just keep in mind the abstract the way of writing the abstract should be better one next coming to the igcs and etri journal for it here journal it is freely available free access is provided to some universities or some uh, institutions you can search it it is free of cost freely available where free access is given to this article uh, here the 15th august every every sort of details is written there next i told you so you have to keep the percentage the results to uh, give them like you have actually done something and related to the second point which i told you like whether the major contribution is written properly or not i have kept that one next related to the section whether the improper or if you found any uh, lacunae there in the papers or not that i kept here uh, at last i have just written uh, the conclusion the paper what exactly it concludes so every details i kept as per the plan then only i got the acceptance otherwise there is a problem Next, coming to the IJCS. IJCS, it is not freely available, by the way. That's why, though it is subscription based, I cannot showcase all the details written here. All the contents I cannot showcase to you. But I can showcase the information which is there, like uh, received and uh, revised also acceptance. So, you should keep in mind the four points always while submitting in the journal. Uh, don't worry. You just try it. Definitely, you'll get the experience. Go for the hit and trial. More the hit and trial you do, definitely more the experience you'll gain. So I hope it is clearly understood to you. At three journals we have discussed with the proof. So you please carry on with it. If you have any doubt, please comment below. Thank you.